Proteus by Seaside Modular is a generative sequencer that creates evolving melodies. It'll loop a melodic line and then generate a new one based on the settings of these parameters. This module is super cool and here's what it can sound like. This is the main clock input. This is where you connect the clock to progress the sequence. And this is the reset input that will bring the sequence back to the beginning if it's triggered. Here are the two main outputs. This one's the volt per octave output that you connect to your oscillator to feed it pitch information. And here's the gate output that you can connect to an ADSR VCA combo to shape the amplitude of each note in the sequence. This knob sets the length of the sequence, which can span from 1 to 32 steps. When the sequence hits the last step, it'll loop back to the beginning. This knob will adjust the scale the melody is generated in. We have the major, natural minor, harmonic minor, major pentatonic, minor pentatonic, Dorian, mixolydian, chromatic, baravi, and a hear barav scales available. There's also a scale called tuning that plays the root note in octaves, which is used to tune your oscillator. All the scales on this module are in the key of C, and the module doesn't have a built-in way of changing the root note. So if you want to change the root note because you want to play in a different key, we just simply tune our oscillator to a new pitch. A quick way to do this is with Hot Tuna by Nisti. I've got Hot Tuna here next to Pafaco's Pony VCO. Just plug the sucker in here so we can see the pitch that plays. Now we adjust the frequency knob until it reads the pitch we want. I'm going to choose D as our new root note. If you hold control while you turn the knob, it'll turn it slower so you can really dial it in. There's a more mathematical way to find the new root note in Hertz, but that's for nerds, so naturally I know how to do it, and if you want to know how to do it too, just leave a comment and maybe I'll make a video on it. Now that we have it playing D, all of the pitch information will be shifted to the new root note. Now I'm going to change this knob to harmonic minor, and we're playing in D minor, one of my favorite keys. Here's a sequence over a D drone and a D minor 7 chord. Lambda control sets a probability of Proteus generating a new melody. When the repeat amount hits the lambda number, there's a 50% chance a new melody will be generated. These indicator lights brighten up as the lambda number is approached as well. The density knob controls the density of notes within the melody. All the way right will contain no rests, meaning there will be notes every tick of the clock. All the way left contains many rests. Rests, in this case, can be perceived as held notes within the context of the melody and can change the feel based on the setting of an ADSR. Here's an example of an ADSR producing staccato notes. And here's all the same settings on the Proteus, but a more legato feel from the ADSR. The octave knob controls the possibility of an octave transposition. To the right is more frequent, and to the left is less frequent. This slider sets the range of the octave transpositions. 1 means the module can transpose up or down one octave, 2 means up or down within two octaves, and 0 means it won't do any octave transpositions, and it's the same effect as having this knob turned all the way down. The mutate knob controls the possibility of random note mutations. Again, all the way right is more frequent, and all the way left is less frequent. This is my favorite control on the module because it can make a spicy change right when your ear starts to get used to the repetition of the melody. The gate knob controls the length of the gate output, and it's based on the length of the gate coming to the clock input. Right makes longer gates, and left makes shorter gates. There are three modes for this module that can be selected by this slider. All the way left allows every function to perform, so new melodies are going to be generated, octave transpositions can occur if you have them set to run, and mutations will occur as well. In the middle disables the new melody function, but mutations and octave transpositions can still occur. All the way right will prevent any changes from occurring, so Proteus will play the same melody on repeat. This button in the middle here triggers a new sequence with a new melody every time you press it, even if the module is locked by the mode slider. 
Finally, all of these inputs are CV controls for each of their named parameters. These are really fun to mess with. I recommend trying HexMod by CV Funk or Black Octosource by Erica Synths as the modulation sources, but use any modules you like, I'm not your dad. That's it for this lightning fast run through. I'd like to encourage you to check this module out and have some fun. It's free, and you can find it on the BCB Rack library page by searching Proteus, or by subscribing to Seaside Modular on the plugins page. If you like this kind of stuff, you can let me know that by liking, leaving a comment, and subscribing, if you haven't already. Everything I've ever made, including my patch collection and my drum sample pack, are free on my Kofi page, so head over there if you like free stuff. We have a new supporter added to the list. Shout out to Sean Garland. Thank you so much for your support, you're rad, and I appreciate you. Shout out to my other supporters as well. Thank you all for your unwavering support and encouragement. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one.